Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brian and I want to welcome you back to Beginning C Sharp with Unity Screencast Series. In this episode, we're going to review everything that was covered so far and then give you a brief overview of what you'll be learning next. Think of this as a self-evaluation episode. If you are feeling overwhelmed, this may be a good reminder to take a break and rewatch the previous episodes. That way, you'll have a strong foundation moving forward. That said, let's review what we've already covered. At the start of the series, you learned how to create scripts and then how to create variables from them. From there, it's been all about data. You learned about variables, how to give them names, and what it means to have variables of different types. You learned that an int variable is different from a string variable, which of course is different from a bool variable. Later on, you'll be defining your own types. Next, you learned about operators and how they behave differently depending on the type. A plus sign will add two ints together, whereas it will concact different strings. You also learned about some shorthand operators as well. Finally, you dived into the world of arrays. You learned how you can make one variable hold the values of many variables. All this is great stuff. Essentially, you learned how to create the backing data for your game and how to manipulate it. For instance, you can now create a score variable and increment the score by points for different objectives. Destroy the alien spaceship and you add 10 points to the score. Rescue the captured civilian, the score is incremented by 50 points, and so forth. But what if you want to act on that data? For instance, what if you wanted to award the player an extra life when their score passed a certain milestone, like 1,000 points? Welcome to Control Flow, and that's what we'll be covering in the next section. Control Flow allows you to make choices on your data, as well as enabling you to repeat code with ease. Here's the breakdown of what we'll be covering. First, we'll dive into conditionals. This is the place where you'll make logical choices based on certain values. You'll take a quick diversion and learn about the ternary operator, which is very much a conditional, but used when assigning values to your variables. Then you'll learn about switch statements. These statements are another way of thinking about general if statements. Then you'll learn about constants and enumerations. These constructs will make your code cleaner and easier to understand. Then you'll be introduced to the for loop. This is a true war course in C-sharp, which makes doing repetitive things rather easy. With the for loop comes the for each loop, which is like the for loop, but designed to work with collections. Finally, you'll learn about the while loop and the do while loop and the subtle difference between them. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff to cover. Again, if you are feeling shaky on what you've already learned, by all means, watch the past section videos since everything you'll learn afterwards builds on it. If you have any questions or just feel overwhelmed, make sure to raise your hand in the forums for help. If you have comments about the presentation or suggestions on how it can be approved, again, please let us know in the comments. Otherwise, keep watching as we have a ton of things to cover. Well, I hope you enjoyed this screencast. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.